What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another player review. Coming in at 80,000 coins, we're going to be checking out this Piero Nkapi card. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right, but bro, for 79,000 coins, probably even going to drop a little bit more. This card looks extraordinary value. Remember as well, if you do enjoy it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It may not seem like a lot to you guys, but it does help push this video out so much, and obviously a subscribe would mean the world. Now, starting off boys, this Nkapi card. 80,000 coins, 87 pays. You've got a relatively fast center back with good dribbling, which if you watch this channel, you know I love a center back with some good agility and balance. They can turn on the ball much nicer. Compared to, say, like my fantasy foot, he minis review, he's got 44 balance. Bro, as soon as like a fast player sprints past him, he has to turn his whole body for it. And him, Cappy, that will not be an issue. And as well, 93 long passing with 96 short passing. Playing out from the back with him will be absolutely perfect. Defensively, he's obviously very good at it. He's a center back. Physical wise as well is really nice. This card is screaming out for an anchor. It puts him up to 92 pace in game. Along with that, uh, it puts him up to, I believe, around 94 defending. 99 stand tackle with 98 slide tackle. 90 for your awareness he goes to 89 interceptions and 89 heading there as well and as well physical wise it gives him that plus 10 strength and plus 5 aggression also a plus 3 jumping which maxes his jumping up to 99 honestly the fact that he's 80,000 coins and I know I've said it like a lot now but the fact he's 80,000 coins chuck an anchor on him right here he's a 93 rated center back in game with a lean body type 6 foot tall 97 strength for 91 aggression with some really nice agility and balance and he's even got some nice passing bro this card could be a very high rating if he can perform like his stats suggest we could be in for a banger here today lads now as for in game now you may be looking at it and go five of the back what the hell no so basically when i'm defensive i'm five of the back but what we're gonna do usually we start the game three of the back now he is left footed so it could make sense to play him out uh, on the left if you want to but once he is actually you actually maldini's got one more pace than maldini so usually it would make sense to go like this um, and have Maldini in the center because he's a, he's a lowest pace have him as a left center back and Marquinhos on the right So we're gonna try this in game boys playing him as a left center back in a 3-5-2 now honestly um, Him being having some nice short passing and long passing if you are playing a three of a back or a five of a back It's gonna be very helpful because playing up from the back can be a big part of my game So I do like the fact he's got some really really nice passing obviously as well playing him as a center back in a very like limited formation with only three center backs playing a very attacking minded formation him having that agility and balance to be able to turn quickly if he's facing an Mbappe and he's facing one way Mbappe sprints past him he'll be able to quickly turn his body and start chasing him which is uh, something that seemed to back with maybe 40 balance um, maybe 60 agility wouldn't be able to offer so let's get into the gameplay lads let's have a look how this card performs I, I, I didn't start recording until we went into it which is my fault because obviously my, my opponent's team a very sweaty Serie A side he had that foot birthday De Vrij he's got Chiesa uh, honorable mentions in Sinier, but he's also got like Foden and Sterling honorable mentions in there so that, that's the best way I can describe a team without having to pause it and show you guys um, but no one thing I did forget to mention is obviously the upgrade system and how it works so he, he can get up to a plus three by the way already caught off guard here go on and Kapi here we go wins that as well I feel like I'm saying that name wrong by the way Wins that header. Great start from him. I feel like I'm saying that name wrong, so I'll have to have a look in a minute. Um, I'll search it up probably at halftime to see if I am pr pronouncing it right or not. Um, but anyway... What was I going to say? You can get up to a plus three upgrade. Now, with that plus three upgrade, you'll get a plus one if Leverkusen win one of the next five games, which they 100% will. You'll get another plus one if he starts three games or more, or appears in three, three games or more, could be off a bench in Leverkusen's next five games. And if he keeps a clean sheet in one of the next five games, he'll also get an upgrade. Now, I'm not sure if he's a consistent starter for Leverkusen or not. If you guys do know, make sure to let me know down below. Here we go. Hincapi has been involved a lot here as well. I've been talking the past, like, while, but Hincapi has been involved a lot. Already straight away getting an interception and winning that in the air. I'll shut up now, and let's get on with the game. Go on, Hincapi, can he win it? I think he might have got to it. I'm pretty sure he won that, which is very, very nice. I think he's got some really good jumping, and that's the second ball he has won in the year as well. Now, as I said, nice short passing, nice long passing, which if you are playing a free at the back, can come in very, very handy. Go on. And copy again. Now, my opponent has been playing absolutely boring, by the way. He's literally just been playing position. He's got, he's got the boys playing position. I, I don't even think he's, he's had like 70% position. I don't even think he's had a shot on target. It's honestly embarrassing. 
Um, but no, either way, and Cuppy, he's had a couple interceptions to make. He's won the ball a couple times as well. But I do think he feels really nice on the ball, which, which as I said, if he does get turned by, like a relatively fast defender. By the way, we are attacking. Yeah, we are attacking. I'm going to say, like, why are my players so deep right now? I think it's just because my opponent's playing such a high line, and when he gets a ball... Well, this is honestly such a shocking game to be able to try to do a review on his card because he just doesn't attack. My opponent literally just plays position. Like, look at him, bro. How, how do you enjoy playing a game like this? But anyway, so far, first half, bit of a quiet half from him. I think if we go one to luck, my opponent will go all for it. Um, he's had, yes, almost 60% position and he's created 0 0.3 expected goals. Tells you everything you need to know, right? Now, one positive we can take from that half is I do think, and once again, like, look at that left stick dribbling with him. Feels so, so nice for a center back. Feels so, so nice. Honestly. Like, compare him to, like, that he minis, that fancy for he minis. He's a liability when it comes to trying to quickly turn and chase after the opponent. But no, this Hin Cappy card, no shot, man. Absolutely wonderful in areas like that. Go on, Hin Cappy, getting that tackle through. Absolutely massive as well. My opponent finally started to actually pass the ball forward, and Hin Cappy was there for it. Back to him now. Now he's got some nice passing, so he can play that short. I have no clue what my opponent's pausing for. Probably the type of guy to quit at 0 0 after, after realizing passing around for 60% of the game isn't going to get isn't going to make him score. <laughs> Honestly, man, the state of it, the state of it. Go on, I'd love if we can score this. Oh, unlucky. And Cappy, another interception, bro. This man is getting heavily involved. Heavily, heavily involved. Oh, Hin Cappy with interception. That's absolutely unreal from him once again. Once again, and yeah, surprise, surprise, it's still nil-nil. Surprise, surprise, my opponent still playing like an absolute rat. But you know what, boys, I'm trying not to get him in my head. And, and Cappy has been tested quite a bit this game. He's been absolutely phenomenal. And Cappy gets to it. That's absolutely huge. I don't know why he sped up as soon as he got it. Uh, maybe a little bit of a glitch there, but that's absolutely huge. Unfortunate. Go on, Hincapi again against Adama. Maldini's here, or Marquinhos is here, sorry, we'll take it. Okay, I mean, to be fair, Hincapi, he, he didn't do, do a bad job of keeping up to uh, Traore. Oh my god, Hincapi is so clutch. He is so clutch. How does he win that, man? Is that Hincapi again? Boys! He is incredible. He is incredibly clutch right now. Well, what a game. We went to penalties and, and we lost. Honestly, it's painful. I know, especially against a player that played how he did. It was a painful loss, but at the same time, we're not taking it too deep. At the end of the day, we're here to try out this Hincapi card, and Hincapi did perform. He performed, lads. He was honestly the most clutch player on my team, without a doubt. The amount of times he rose from the air, got that header through, won that header, won back position, intercepted the ball. One thing we didn't actually test out too much with him was his tackling, but I can guarantee you guys, his tackling will be, will be absolutely fine. He's got some great defensive stats. But no, like his actual, like his attacking AI, right? Like running into tackles and manually, sorry, not manually defending, AI defending with him it's just absolutely phenomenal with him he's six foot tall um but he's got 96 jumping and with an anchor that goes to 99 jumping and that 99 jumping is absolutely clutch honestly in the back three he worked brilliant uh for the pros lads we're gonna start off we are gonna save a lean body type means obviously turning on the ball feels a little bit better with him 87 pace with 96 short passing and 93 long passing having that passing as a center back if you're operating a free back is going to be very nice 85 agility for a center back is phenomenal 89 can and we have just put the defending and physical in there as well instead of putting you know stand tackle slide tackle separate we'll just say defending and physical for the links we have gone for tap sober getting that strong link to him now we're not going to put him in or sorry we are going to put him in um but lots of you guys might not have completed him it is that from pong card um i believe he was a future stars icons uh like a future stars swaps system card so i doubt you guys chose him i think a few of you guys did take him so if you did here you go you're finally being rewarded for taking him because this card would be amazing paired up with him but let's hope you guys did enjoy this review let me know who you want to see reviewed next and i'll see you boys later